The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to a, a, another exciting installment in our series of D-Link webinars. Um, it's been a little while since we last talked about Nucleus, um, so we're going to talk about Nucleus today. Uh, Craig's very excited. Um, as you can tell, he gets to he gets to give everyone an update as to the exciting stuff that's gone on uh, with Nucleus. But um, along along with that, we're going to talk about how we're going to help um, MSPs and how we can help um, uh, a normal a, a normal uh, a normal reseller uh, become an MSP and turn a Nucleus into into a, into a bit of a cash cow for them. How they can get ongoing ongoing revenue from the product. Um, so, so we've come up with some uh, some help uh, because we know obviously there's there's trying times at the moment, uh, and as you can probably guess, myself and Craig would probably uh, we're still we're still working from home. Craig, uh, how are you bearing up? Are, yes, getting a bit tired of the same old walls, but uh, <laughs> never mind. Is what it is. Got to power through. <laughs> you know, I've, I've had this wallpaper for four years, and but now all of a sudden I have a sudden urge to change it and get something. <laughs> I think a lot of people are going to be doing that over the next few months once we're allowed out. <laughs> once, once we're allowed out, I'm going straight hairdressers first, and then and then I'm going to go and go, go to the wallpaper shop and uh, brighten it up a little bit. I think. So uh, <laughs> I, I don't think I'll be alone in going to the hairdressers, that, that's for sure. <laughs> OK, um, so um, basically, I think I think how we're going to do today, Craig's going to do a lot of the talking for the first half of the webinar to um, basically go through the differences between Nucleus, Cat Cloud and Connect uh, and look at the new there's a couple of new products, a couple of new um, features and some other exciting stuff that we're, we're bringing uh, either out now or out very shortly. Uh, and then I'll, I'll take over a little bit when we come to talk about how um, the MSP uh, scheme will work and, and how we're going to help you um, help you sell Nucleus. Because at the end of the day, we can have the best product in the world. Um, but we've got to we've got to help you guys out there sell it. Um, so so we'll give you what dealing plans to do on those uh, on those farms. So um, uh, Craig, do you want to talk very quickly about what the difference between cloud and connect are? I think we've we've done it a few times, but it's always good to give a reminder. Yes, absolutely. And we'll also discuss how these products are going to actually help you be an MSP. So hopefully uh, you're coming into this webinar today or recording if you're watching it a bit later. Um, to find out what, where you can go and what the products are going to be able to do for you um, and have a think about what you've actually got at the moment. So if you are a managed service provider, then you might know all the caveats of having to go around and make sure you've got a team, a scheduled team. You might have a, a series of people or technical staff that are able to go to sites and, and manage the services at your end users. Um, or maybe you're a smaller team and you're, you're thinking about installing in, uh, yourselves. Um, one or two people is absolutely fine. If you're a one-man band, it's not a problem. You're able to still do the MSP side of things. And I think that's one of the messages that we actually want to give out today as well. It's not just for big companies. It's possible to be a managed service provider, even if you're on your own. So product-wise, we're looking at two different products that's going to be able to fit. Now, both of these products are going to be able to help you. It's not just one or the other. So we have our Nucleus Cloud solution and our Nucleus Connect. So our Nucleus Connect solution is kind of aimed at anyone who's happy to deploy infrastructure. Now, when I say deploy infrastructure, it might not necessarily be at the end user's infrastructure itself. Perhaps it's your own. So for example, let's say you either rent or maybe even just create your own server environment and you're happy to host virtual machines. We have a, a Nucleus Connect software. Now, what that software will do is manage access points as a controlled unit. So the software itself can be installed um, either locally or remotely. So for example, if you wanted to run a virtual machine in your own home environment, what you'd be able to do is make sure that you've got the bandwidth and things like that for it. And you would be able to actually manage access points at a remote destination. 
Now, if that sounds like something that's a little bit beyond what you want to do in terms of infrastructure, perhaps you can't afford the, the bandwidth or the environment or the service somewhere else, you could possibly look at our Nucleus Cloud solution. Now, the Nucleus Cloud solution is a hosted zero touch management. What that means is that you'd be able to deploy access points at your end users' locations and then you'll be able to manage that just over the internet via web browser. So you're not hosting any servers, you're not doing any of the uptime yourself. Um, so you can think about the service level agreements that you provide to your end users. So that's something that's very, very different between these two, but it still enables you to be a managed service provider for both of these solutions. The, the Nucleus Connect um, software is also available for download for anyone as well. So you can, you can have a play with the system before you, um, uh, before you move on, which is a, uh, which is obviously a good, uh, good thing to have a look. That's, that's a really good point to bring in. Both of these solutions, um, in terms of actually trying them out and seeing how they work, you don't need to pay for anything. So the Nucleus Connect software is free. It's a free download. You can install it yourselves and have a look. Likewise, you can create a free account on Nucleus Cloud um, and have a look at the service level features and create, even begin to start create profiles because the actual um, product itself will be once you've purchased an access point and then um, entered the license key of that product to begin using it. Even better. <laughs> so just to give you a little overview of how these two integrate and why they're both called Nucleus. Um, and that really comes down to how we want to bring everything together to the cloud. Even if you're thinking about um, local solutions and maybe even some legacy products. So just to be clear, uh, the cloud products, we have cloud access points and cloud switches. Each product is uniquely designed for the cloud and only for the cloud. Now our Nucleus Connect products, for anybody who's been with D-Link for a little while, um, you might have DAP access points that you would use. And if you remember, it was our CWM100 software. Uh, this software was um, put into a 2.0. It was uh, built from the ground up. But what we're able to do is bring some of our older access points into this new software as well with a firmware update. Now, at the moment, it's just access points. Um, but in the future, we'll certainly be having some managed and smart switches coming to the product line as well. So not only will you be able to do your what your uh, currently existing DAP products, your access points, but you will be able to look at legacy switches too. Now, how this integrates with both Nucleus is that the software itself will be able to connect to the Nucleus cloud. So the software registers with a single sign-on. So you have one account to manage everything, but you'll still be able to get that feedback and all that information broadcasting to the cloud in one, the cloud in one location. So this is what the um, Nucleus Connect um, software will um, will look like. Um, yep. So that's the that's the current implementation. And like I said, give it a give it a go. Have a have a play with it if you're interested. Yeah. It's a very small install. Um, you can just grab it from our website, um, and it's really just a case of registering. It's free registration. And what you'll be able to do is have a dashboard-like information um, telling you how many access points and how many networks that you've created. Now, how it will work is that you'll actually be able to take a mobile phone, and we have a mobile phone app for Nucleus Connect as well. The server, like I said, it can be installed locally at the site. It can be installed remotely, so you can host it at your own solution. You can even install this in uh, Amazon's AWS or Microsoft Azure. So you can have your own cloud for this as well if you're willing to pay for the um, amount of bandwidth that you use. Um, most of the services for creating those clouds uh, are relatively inexpensive. Um, some are even free, so have a look at those. And then what you'll be able to do is you'll be able to create profiles for your sites and your access points. Now, the nice thing about this is if you are an MSP, what you'll be able to do is send your engineers to a site and all they have to do is take the access points and take a mobile phone. They can connect um, the, the mobile phone to the network. Maybe it's a currently existing network. It's a brand new install. Just maybe take one of the access points pre-configured. That will allow you to join the network and then you just push out the profile for any new access points that you're installing at that location with a couple of clicks from your mobile phone. Everything will then connect back to your server and you'll be able to instantly um, centrally manage all of the access points on the network. 
amazing stuff, isn't it? So, so, so many steps saved over um, traditional network building. <laughs> it is, it is. And I'll tell you what, I, we, the feedback we're getting from Nucleus Connect is really good. I and mean, we've got people that have been installing D-Link for over 20 years. And some of these say that it's a game changer for them. Absolute game changer. That's what we're here to do, here to help. <laughs> um, so onto, on, onto Nucleus Cloud, um, uh, the range of switches, the, um, the access points on there, they're being added to um, um, pretty much every day. Um, we, we're not gonna go into details into all of, um, all of the new access points that are coming out, but um, outdoor, Wi-Fi 6, ev ev everything, everything is planned and all bases are covered. Um, for the future development, um, I'm not sure if there, are there any small switches planned, Craig, or the um, um, is 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 anything to do with 10 gig switches? Is that a little way off as yet? We're we're certainly looking at 10 gig. That will be the next step. So what we did was we looked at what most people want to install and what yeah. they purchased from Dealing in the past, and that's really. Uh, gigabit copper ports and uh, some standard SFPs, which is great for cameras, access points, anything like that for actually connecting up PoE devices. Um, that's really what people want. Um, and obviously, as we progress, uh, the next step will be looking at 10 gig um, solutions as well. So yeah, 10 gig is absolutely on the cards to come. Brilliant. Okay. Uh, so a quick slide to just um, differentiate. It's, it's, a, it's a great summary of everything that, that, that Craig has said so far. Um, almost almost all, all Nucleus products that we, we've developed are aimed at the SME marketplace, which is which is understandable. It's it's literally ninety eight percent of the UK market is is SME size. So um, um, so so definitely a large marketplace out there for MSPs or any potential businesses to to sell to. Um, absolutely, yes, absolutely. Um, and like I said, uh, because it's installed uh, on the cloud, you're getting that 99% uptime. Um, so again, if you're a smaller company, you're perhaps not looking to host the infrastructure yourselves. I would say Nucleus Cloud Solution is probably what you want to look at. And as you go, I think what we really want to get across today is that how it does multi-tenancy for both of these solutions um, and multi-site management. So what that means is that you can have your accounts and you'll be able to assign accounts on Nucleus Cloud to end users as well, not just yourselves. So let's say, for example, you'll have yourself as a primary holder and you'll be the main account holder. You'll be able to create sites, you'll be able to create maps, um, and then assign these accounts out to some of your other partners. Um, now, what they would then be able to do is be assigned an admin account. So you might have a site that they can control but won't be able to see anything else um, that they're actually not able to look at from your account. And you can create profiles for these people as well. So for example, you have an access point, you can set it up on site where you are, and then just send this out over the post, ask them to plug it in or change out a currently existing access point. You don't even need to go to the site to be able to do it. Uh, next up, um, a, great development, a great development for Nucleus Hub is, um, for Nucleus Connect is the new Nucleus Connect Hub. Uh, which which basically removes any need for um, PC hardware, uh, allows you connect up to manage up to 100 APs. So if, if if you're in an environment where you can't deploy a PC, or um, if you is um, I suppose it's also suitable, Craig, for if um, if there's no IT staff on hand, um, you can just have the hub hub running rather than have a PC in there, and then then manage remotely from the hub. Um, Correct, yes. And it's, it's peace of mind that you get with the DNH100. Mm. Um, like Alan says, when you have a, a PC or maybe a server piece of software, then you have to have an administrator that controls this all the time. Maybe it's, there's updates that happen on the PC that can affect the rest of your service. You, you don't necessarily want to go down that road. Mm. Um, and sometimes just having a single piece of hardware that's racked away, out of sight, out of mind, um, but controlling all of your access points, certainly for smaller installations, um, it's absolutely ideal for it. Mm. And available now. So um, fill your boots. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Now, just to be clear, we've got 100 access points that that device can manage. On the actual software itself, if you do install a server and um, just on a regular PC, anything running Windows will be fine, uh, Windows 10 and onwards, uh, and Windows 7, of course. Um, just to be clear, it's the machine's minimum requirements that you have to look at for that. So, of course, for example, if, if you build a yeah, absolutely. And if you build a high powered machine, you'll be able to run more access points through that as well. Yeah. We say a thousand access points for the software. In all honesty, if you've got a big enough machine, okay. we don't even know how many access points that would do. We only had a thousand access points to test with. Um, so we can really, really decide. But if you host it on a cloud solution, hmm. sky's the limit. I suppose what what you get with um, what you get with the DNH one hundred is 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 a very cost effective solution that that can be dedicated to this um, um, to its job rather than a PC that could be used for other things. Absolutely, that resources mismanaged and um, require constant constant um, attention as as PCs do. Don't get that blue screen of death unless you need to. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Um, one of the one of the exciting developments um, is the DAP twenty six twenty, which which is kind of aimed at the hospitality marketplace. You'll you'll see on the picture here uh, installed into a hotel room, uh, which which is is a great piece of kit because rather than having uh, an access point per floor in a hotel room. Um, you, you're looking at a high-end hotel installing one of these in every single room. Um, so we'll have its own um, RJ11 to, to, to plug into. Um, for, and um, uh, get, I suppose it's in these days of GDPR and, and people's data and all that kind of stuff, people are, are less likely to want to use uh, like um, log on to a, a more public Wi-Fi system. So I think this this in-room um, AP has has some has some good legs, and and uh, I'm sure that a lot of hotels will be interested in in a product like this. Uh, yeah, it's it's really about how strong the broadcast is per room as well. Um, so the idea behind this access point isn't to do a massive broadcast. So it has a smaller radio on it, but it will fill the room very easily. Um, and the benefit of that means that the signal doesn't kind of overlap with other rooms in the area as well, um, which cuts down on the amount of um, frequency and interference you're going to get. Um, so, so it's really perfect for that hospitality environment. Next up, um, the, the customized um, captive portal, which, which I think is interesting to, um, to, to a, lot of, a lot of companies out there, especially those who um, want to push their brand, establish their brands. You can, you can imagine this screen um, mocked up with your logo and and your colors and um, your background image etc etc just to make it really pop for your business out there so um uh, this is definitely one of the things that um, a lot of people have been asking for and we're we're happy to bring with all of those um social integrations you can see the the standard and then um a couple of the more um, asian market um, orientated social media with Line and, and Weibo on there as well. Um, so. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think we've recognized what people actually want when it comes to access points and, and the kind of installs that's happening these days. Everybody's offering free Wi-Fi these days. And I think that's something if you want to bring customers in, you have to look at. Yeah. Now, how, how you actually implement it, how you can do it safely, plus how you can do additional features um, is where we've really concentrated on. A lot of work has gone into our captive portal to, to make sure it's got all the bells and whistles with it. Um, so yes, we do have radio servers and authentications, but we're also working with some third parties, which we'll have a chat about in the next slide. You'll be able to log in with your Google um, devices um, and, and any kind of sign-ons that you have. You're able to customize this um, with HTML as well. So this is fully customizable. You're able to shape it any way you want to. Um, but not, it's still re retaining that nice, easy click-through system where you can just uh, pretty much drag and drop WYSIWYG um, builder as well, not just HTML. So for those who, who really want to implement a captive portal that's really customized for all of your clients, uh, it's, it's, it's something that's going to be there for you. And we're, we're working on this night and day, always um, something that's very important for us. Well, I, I, think it, I think it adds a layer of... Um 
security for the for the consumer i think it puts the consumer's mind at ease when they see something and if they log on to uh, a free wi-fi and it, it just logs on versus if you have to go through a portal you have to use your signing credentials i'm i'm much more inclined to trust the public wi-fi more um if if, if it makes me go through these steps because um uh, i i think that just adds a little bit of peace of mind for the customer as well as all of the uh bells and whistles that we provide for the um uh for, right. for the service provider as well so and ultimately uh you know in a hotel environment it's going to provide a better performance wi-fi because not everybody is logging onto it at the same time as well so it's something to think about yeah yeah um so as craig as craig mentioned um on the last one we've got uh, we've teamed up with a third party um analytics i'll, I'll let craig talk through uh, most of this slide because this is his area <laughs> yeah so uh what we've done is we work with third party companies more to come in the future um, and what that means is that you'll be able to use these services for your captive portal so you'll you'll have your um, site set up and your your captive portal set up as normal and then what actually happens is all of the logic will be pushed through to your third parties that you want to use so that whilst you're still retaining uh, gdpr um uh Conform conformity you're able to get additional services built into it so you're able to grab information about who is uh, signing on how they are using the wireless network so all of that analytical data about how your wi-fi is being used where it's being used the times it's being used what kind of person is using it what are they using it for and, and it gives you some business logic um, to actually take away and think about how your business works afterwards as well mm yeah um so that's um that's, that's pretty much um uh, all of the update from nucleus so there's a lot there's a lot going on there there's a few bits that like i said that we haven't talked about the new the new access points and all those kind of things but feel free to um send us an email uh because i i know this is a, a cancelled webinar from yesterday so there's a few less people on live um, if you do have questions, obviously leave them in the side chat. But um, as a hastily rearranged webinar, we, we we're not expecting too many people to be on live at the moment. Um, so you can, but you can always drop us some questions at um, uki-sales at dealing.com, and I'll mention that again at the end of the webinar, just in just in case you didn't catch that. Uh, so, so now we we'll move on. We we'll move on to the um, the actual opportunity um for, for msps to to resell nuclear so so craig has gone into um a lot about how it, it will work um and what's the best way and w which of the two nuclear uh, propositions is the one for you if it's cloud or if it's if it's connect or as as an msp is it is it a mix of both um so obviously Dealing recognizes that a lot of businesses are um, out there and, and struggling at the moment, particularly for um, for leads and that we just we, we just want to do um, um, everything that we can to kind of help you maximize um, maximize those business opportunities. And we think that with this um, with this uh, MSP program that we've come up with, the incentives, uh, the discounts and all that that we're going to offer, we think we can uh, we can really help help you guys out and we can really spread nucleus uh, far and wide. Um, so Basically, it all comes down to the fact that selling nuclear solutions um, as an MSP um, can help you increase profits from a managed service, or service offering that brings you ongoing custom and regular income. Um, that's basically what is in it for you to become an MSP. Um, and as you can see there, we, we've got the great stat that 68% of European SMBs are improving their bottom line with managed services. That was a survey conducted um, by, um, by Ericsson. So the managed service market, it's, it's growing and that's why we, um, we want to be part of it. We want to help you become an MSP or just grow um, as an MSP if, if you already are one. Um, so as uh, as we mentioned earlier, Nucleus is very much targeted at the SME audience. Um, so particularly those with um, 
uh, one or more sites um, because as Craig said about the remote management and all of the features on Nucleus allows it to be managed from uh, one office or on, on the beach if you're if you're even um, if you take your iPad on the beach with you um, you can still access all the apps and, and, and everything that you need to do. Um, basically aiming at um, SMB, SME, retail chains, hospitality and education we have some specialist uh, marketing uh, information, PDFs and, and all sorts of bits and bobs uh, to, to, to tailor any presentation that you have for a specific industry within, um, within those. Uh, and, and also what we're going to offer anybody who, who signs up to the MSP program is, is MDF, which is basically marketing development funds, which I'm sure everybody is very keen to, um, to hear. Um, <laughs> and D-Link obviously will be doing our own marketing. Um, so we'll be running PPC campaigns and we can and will generate leads on your behalf. Uh, we understand that there's um, a lot of our resellers are smaller, some are nationwide. Um, so potentially if you're in Manchester and you can cover the Manchester area, uh, we can send you specific leads uh, for the Manchester area. Or if you travel further afield, but you're an education specialist, uh, we can also work with you in, in that way. Yeah, and we have a lot of experience working in that education sector as well. Um, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So the um, the program benefits um, on the screen as now, and, and and the big one there, the second one is the gold partner level discount. Um, so pr we'll be offering anybody who signs up as an MSP um, the gold level discount, which we'll get onto um, in in the next slide in a little bit more depth. Uh, we 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 di we'll discuss additional discount on licenses. So so come to us where um, you want multi licenses or multi year licenses, and we'll 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 obviously come back to you. We'll negotiate and we'll um, we'll provide you with discount um, below uh, the rates that go out there normal. Um, educational webinars. Well, we're doing one right now, and we will continue <laughs> to to do them going forward. And, and what we'll do is, rather than just just me and Craig, we'll um, we'll we'll arrange um, for for some of our salespeople, the more agreeable salespeople, to come on and uh, talk about how they sell nucleus um, and and just try to optimize your your sales um, technique because. We can, Craig can talk about all the technical stuff and I can talk about marketing, but um, uh, the sales guys are doing a great job selling Nucleus and I'm sure that they can help you out with that. Yeah. And uh, if anyone has any ideas of what kind of webinars you'd like to see as well, we're always ready to take some feedback from you and maybe it's something that we can help develop for you too. Of course, or, or if not, we can always do you a little bite-sized video um, um, rather than a full webinar if, it, if it's a smaller topic. So yeah, feel free to let us know. Uh, we're, we're offering a free product set, so um, we'll, we'll send um, a Nucleus product out to anyone who signs up for the MSP just so that they can get a good uh, look and feel of the products. We, we've sent quite a few out already, Craig, um, have we not, to get people testing, to get people playing with it, but we're... We do, yeah, yeah, absolutely. A lot of people um, have received some of our access points like uh, the DAP 2610 series, which is um, a very small, small office, home office uh, access point um, that you can use to, uh, to test the account with. So it's definitely something that we're, uh, we're pushing. Yep. Uh, dedicated engineer. So we, we've got Craig online and um, it'll either be Craig or someone from his team that, uh, that, that can help you out with all of your nu nucleus problems, um, which we aren't anticipating too many, are we, Craig? Because you're not, you're not being un inundated with them at the moment, which is a good thing. No, time. no. It's not too much at all, actually. It's, it's quite light for me since Nucleus came along, which is a nice thing. It's, it's pretty easy to use. Brilliant. Uh, lead generation, we, we previously, previously talked about. Uh, email templates. So uh, we, we're big on our um, emails at Dealing UK, as you probably see in your inbox. Um, we can happily provide you with the templates that we use. Um, obviously, the images are subject to licensing, so you would have to license the images um, yourself to use the ones that we use, but um, always just feel free to drop me a line um, 
and uh, and and we can discuss that. I'll I'll, um, I'll give my email address at the end uh, so that you can get in touch uh, with me direct for that kind of stuff. And and the other thing that we're gonna we've been talking about is a trial product evaluation. So over and above um, supplying kit to the uh, um, a reseller, we're we're going to launch a um, something that will allow you to organize kit for your, for your customer if they're potentially interested in nucleus it would be on a trial basis so we would be expecting that kit to be returned to us um, but we think this is um this is this shows a good commitment um to the to the market that we're prepared to put our put our money where our mouth is basically and give nucleus the clients to play with to have a trial with and and see if it's uh, if it's right for them um, and I think that that will be uh, that will be coming soon. But uh, make sure you return the kit because Craig Craig likes his kit returned to him. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so as as I touched on um, briefly on the last slide, we'll upgrade you automatically to a gold partner, uh, and you'll get all of the goodies that go with being a, a gold partner, which we'll go through shortly. Uh, gold partnership normally comes with a spend of more than 45,000 euros uh, per year. Uh, um, we're prepared to give that to anyone who becomes MSP with us for free. The only commitment that we're looking for is a jointly agreed business plan. Um, and that will take uh, whatever form and we can have individual discussions with individual people. We don't want to put people through training plans. We don't want to put people through um, a series of, of webinars that they have to watch other than this one, obviously. Uh, we we, ju we just want to see if, if we're going to give you marketing development funds, what do you want to spend it on, um, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, uh, we're, we're happy to take that up on, on a bespoke basis with each individual. Uh, so now we're going to just very, very quickly just go through the VIP Plus Gold membership benefits that, that you'll get as an MSP. Uh, um, the dedicated account manager. So um, you'll be assigned one of our um, one of our sales teams. Uh, sales team. Uh, one, sorry, one of our sales teams account managers, um, and they can they can do anything that you can see on the slide here. Uh, come to them for, for, for projects, for quotes, um, sales promotions, products and quotes, and just basically anything that you um, you need and have and want to know about um, about D-Link, any way they can help. Uh, they'll they'll do what, whatever they can um, to, um, um, to assist you, make sure you get the information you need, and they'll always, always do the best to get you the price that you ask for because uh, and that's what they're there for. <laughs> um, and they do a pretty good job of that as well. Yeah, of course they do. Of course they do. Uh, uh, exclusive promotions. Uh, so, so our uh, our price petitions, they they sit down on a monthly basis and they they produce exclusive promotions which are only available to VIP Plus channel. So the, the the beauty of all of the promotions that we do is that we 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 come up with a price which is. Um, 20, 25, 15% off of what the normal price is. Um, and then the 12% the discount that we give you as a gold customer stacks on top of that. Uh, so whatever price you see out on the channel, you get an additional 12% off of that as a gold customer. Um, so you can't, you really can't say better than that. It's a great, a, a great offer and a big saving on all of our, um, all of our most popular products. And obviously allows you to make um, to make more margin if if when you sell on, or allows you to be more competitive um, uh, out in the place if um, if if the situation dictates you to do so. I just touch briefly on the deal registration. So deal registration is something that we uh, we offer to all of our VIP Plus customers. It's kind of a way for us to protect the smaller guys out in the channel. Uh, allows them to compete with the big guys. So if you get an opportunity, you're a small guy, you get an opportunity for a, a big 25K network, uh, and you're worried about uh, one of the big guys coming along and poaching it from you, uh, we will give you guarantee to give you the best service, the best price and exclusivity on that deal for up to three months. And what we do is we do everything on the first come first serve basis to um, to be perfectly transparent and to be perfectly fair to everyone out there. So 
uh, we're, we're, we're keen to help you with any deals that um, uh, that you can do and, and, and um, help you help you grow your business. Um, the, ne the next slide is 100% Craig. Um, so I'm, it I'm is. Just I'm just going to hand him over because I don't want to talk about Craig's job when Craig's here to talk about it himself. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. So um, what I do for you guys, uh, as well as my team, uh, we have the ability to do on-site site surveys for you, and we do those for free as well. What site surveys? We'll do wireless site surveys maybe networking refreshes or new builds, site surveys, whether virtual or on site, and also IP surveillance too. So wireless and IP surveillance primarily, I think. Um, and then obviously, as in any any kind of installation, we have to look at the networking infrastructure too. So happy to do those for you. We can do them in virtual site surveys too. So we'll be able to build heat maps for you, um, help you to create kit lists, uh, and then you'll be able to work with your account manager in order to uh, finalize what kind of pricing you're going to get, and then it comes back to that deal registration too. Mm -hmm. So we're happy to do that. If you have uh, any kind of installation that perhaps you feel is a little bit out of your depth, certainly throw an email at me and what we can do, or even a telephone call, what we can do is sit down with you, have a little chat, maybe a screen share if you're happy to do it virtually and decide what's best for you, which way to proceed. Um, and we can also help find other additional partners in the area where you're currently situated to if you need that kind of help. Yeah, the, vir the virtual stuff is very important at the moment, obviously, it's, it's, um, it's being very... It is. A lot of people are actually progressing their projects at the moment, Alan, um, and that's because uh, the virtual tools that we have are very good. Um, we can actually define what kind of access points, the kind of signal strengths, the areas that it actually has to go in, and then once we actually come out of this isolation, we'll have the products ready to go. Uh, for installs, so we are looking at quite a few products, that are, uh, quite a few projects that are building up at the moment. Um, so if you are interested, certainly uh, don't leave it too late because there's going to be a lot of work there for people. I think. Yeah, and, uh, <laughs> and I think uh, and Craig's talking uh, being a soothsayer there as well because we do have an upcoming webinar uh, where we're going to talk about the Wi-Fi planner. Craig, are we not? <laughs> we are. We are. We're going to well, have Craig... a, a little play and show you how it all works. I think Craig's going to do a lot of talking. I won't be doing very much. I, I might just be here to introduce, and then uh, I might have a have a have a quick nap or something. <laughs> uh, training, training. As um, Craig's chomping at the bit to get back out there and training, aren't you, Craig? Um, um, yes, you know I do enjoy a bit of training. It's always a fun day with uh, with uh, anybody who's who's interested in a little bit of pre-sales help in terms of learning the mm. kit. Mm. Um, what we do, and uh, certainly have been on the road this year before uh, the current situation, um, but uh, a few successful training days where we have switching DCS yeah. training. So what you'll do is you'll be able to come along and learn about how to set up VLANs, um, link aggregation, how you can apply security, command line interfaces, all the little things that maybe you're interested in doing if you are have installed switches in the past um, you might have realized that there's a lot of features on there that you've never really used but uh, once you know how to set up some of the fundamentals you'll be surprised just how much it changes how you can implement your these products into the, a real working environment yeah. um, so i do recommend coming along because you will learn something that day it's not going to be one of these days where you sit there watching board um, death by PowerPoint. That's not how we do it. I've, I've, I've been on the last two and I, I, I can attest to that. I even even had an overview of binary from Craig. So uh, no, no, not ruining anything there, but if you do come on the training and you, you know a bit of binary, you might look like the teacher's pet uh, uh, as, as we do that. So we're definitely, we, we're, looking at, we're looking at probably end of Q3, Q4 at the moment um, to get back on the, uh, out there. No, no promises, but um, um, uh, we, did, we did a training course in Bath and Milton Keynes and we're keen to, to come to your town. So just let us know. Uh, where you want to be there's definitely some interest in the south coast and for us to go back up to the um the north um uh, the northwest i'd say um but it, but if you're in the midlands or the northeast just let us know and, and we'll put on a, a training course in your area yeah. uh while while all this while we're kind of um 
all working from home. Um, the online staff has obviously taken the place of the on tour staff. So we've, we've had to cancel our road shows, but we're, we're really ramping up the webinars, which I'm, I'm sure you'll be happy to hear. Um, uh, Mining Craig's dulcet tones much more over the next couple of weeks. We, uh, we've covered Wi-Fi 6, industrial switches, all those videos are available on our YouTube channel. Um, if you want to go and have a look. Uh, future topics, um, no spoilers here, but um, uh, we're looking at business continuity in a couple of weeks time, 5G in June. Um, so some uh, so some pretty big topics uh, c coming up and some very interesting stuff we'll, we'll have for you on those. Uh, we've also launched um, our new Bite Size series. Um, so, but basically the, the premise behind Bite Size is to provide you with um, snippets of information, uh, they, as, as we do, we do tend to still slightly overrun. We aim for five minutes and we ended up with about seven on the last one, Craig, I think. Yeah, I think we did. Yeah. Got a bit too carried away as we normally do. Yeah. But, um, it's, it is, it's great to just, just get those videos out there. And, um, uh, we've got a couple more plans. Uh, we've just had a couple of, um, scheduling conflicts, but, but we've got some planned on VPNs, uh, stacking parental controls and all this kind of stuff. Just those bits that while we're working from home can can really help you out and really help you get the best um, the best from your from your network. Um, and as I said, we will be looking uh, to get back out there. Training road shows will return as as soon as possible. Um, but while that's going on, we've also got all of the VIP Plus tools, which you can see there. Craig talked briefly about the Wi-Fi Planner Pro. We'll do a full webinar on that coming up, but um, there's a few other tools there. The Surveillance Floor Planner, Product Selector Pro, which allows you to um, compare DLIC products, which, which is a very useful tool, Bandwidth Calculator, um, and, and um, um, all, all of those tools are available in the VIP portal, and I'm sure that they're of great use at the moment while we, while we can't get out and, and visit clients. Uh, um, so that's... That's pretty much it for me, Craig. Have you got anything to add on uh, on that? Um... No, it's just um, uh, what I will say is uh, do have a look at the tools. They're very powerful, and um, especially things like the GUI emulator, which mm -hmm. allows you to see what features are actually installed on some of the switches by actually showing you what a switch interface looks like. Product selector tools so that you can actually compare products to other um, devices. So if you've got something that you want to compete against and you think Dingham can help you out, we've made that very easy for you. Um, and then, like I say, if you do have a technical team, certainly Wi-Fi planning tools um, and IP surveillance tools help you position uh, and give you an idea of where things are going to go and, and how, how best to install things as well. So yep. it's all there for you. And of course, the membership of the VIP Plus scheme is absolutely free. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Always a benefit. Yeah, so um, that's um, that's a few of the bits that we can um, talking through Nucleus, a, a good update on the stuff that's available now. There's some things that are, are coming in the future, uh, and what we, how we're going to try and help people sell Nucleus, how we're going to support the MSSP channel with additional discounts and everything else that we talked from the VIP Plus scheme there. The, the the presentation the slides um, that we've shown today we will be amalgamating them as a as as a fully functioning uh, document that will be obviously available again to anyone who wants to who wants to present those um, and we will be building a, a microsite uh, which will be coming soon to to promote D-Link um, D-Link's offering to, uh, to to resellers to become an MSP. Uh, just just to really tr try and get the information out there and to give your customers somewhere you can direct them to to tell them look D-Link is a serious player um, in this marketplace and they, uh, they're going to give you the tools to help you succeed. Um, so I hope, I hope that all came across uh, well. Um, the, the contact number's on the screen there if you want to give us a call. We are still on that switchboard number. Um, and myself and Craig, we're both subscribed to the UKI-sales at dlink.com email. Uh, so just drop us a line, any questions you've got on there. And um, 
uh, give us a follow on the, on the usual socials, sign up for our YouTube channel, which is uh, where we're going to post uh, this webinar. All our other webinars are on there, as well as our upcoming bike science videos. So it's all it's all go for the link at the moment. And we'll try and keep you um, entertained over this uh, this long summer. OK, uh, so that's everything from me. Um, so uh, we'll see you next time. Uh, it'll be a couple of weeks for the business continuity um, webinar. I um, hope to see you all there again. Uh, we, we did send out an email yesterday, or you can just go to the uh, dlink.com forward slash events page and uh, sign up for any of the upcoming webinars on there. Okay, uh, thanks very much for listening and I'll, I'll see you again next time.